Today, the forces that is fighting you at work, they were assigned there by the devil to destroy you and to stop you and to pull you down and to make you feel as if you are less of yourself. Today, you will not give in. Today, you will not surrender to the enemy. Today, no force that is fighting against you will win and will conquer you. None of them will prosper. Every dynamic force that is assigned at your workplace to see you discouraged, to see you performing lower than the, the average, to see you being maligned and criticized, to see you being laughed at and looked down at. I declare and I decree that the fire of God will burn them up, will burn up every force, will burn up every attack, will burn up every plan of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree over your life, Psalm 59, that the Lord will deliver you from your enemies and the Lord will defend you from them that rise up against you. David said, deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, not for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault, awake to help me and behold. Though therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen, be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Selah, today I declare over your life, my listener, that every force that is fighting you at your workplace, that God will awake and visit them, that God will awake and be merciful for you. I pray that God will awake and visit the heathen, and he will not have mercy on the wicked. I declare over your life that you will not be weakened, you will not be shaken, you will not tremble in fear because you hear the voice of your supervisor or you hear the voice of your manager. No, I speak strongly strength over you, boldness over you, maturity over you, confidence over you. I declare and I decree over your life that you will not be limited. You do not want to live your life wherein when people speak against you, you fall up in a corner and you act as if you don't have confidence and you act as if you don't have a God that is fighting for you. Today the God of Abraham and Isaac is fighting on your behalf. Don't let anybody call you down. Don't let anybody speak down to you. Don't let anybody look down upon you in pride. I want you to know that God is fighting on your behalf and it doesn't matter what your supervisor or your manager or whosoever is above you want to say. You have the gift of God, the calling of God within your life and therefore no plan of the enemy and no words of the enemy can stop that plan of God that is in your life. I want you to remain focused today. I want you to know the plans of God for your life and pursue that. I want you to know that there are great things within you and there are great potential within you. But the devil at the same time is planning your demise. The devil at the same time want to see you fall, want to see you messed up, want to stop you, want to limit you and control you. He want to shame you and disappoint you. This morning you don't need to cry about it. You don't need to fret about it or think about it or be, become frail about it. I want you to become a praiser, a prayer warrior about it. I want you to become a worshiper about it. Whatever that it may be, God who sits on the throne will fight on your behalf. There are many dynamic forces that is assigned within the workplace. And those demons are working through your closest co-workers. And they're working through your managers and they're working through your supervisors. To stop you, to demote you, and to do things that are in total opposition of what God is saying. Am I saying this morning that they are not good supervisors and they're not good managers? But I know that for the most part, the devil will always try influence the managers and the supervisors to look down on their staff to treat them as if they're nothing to speak down to them as if they don't have any value even though you may not be the smartest or you may not speak the queen's language to their delight even though you may not attain that a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a phd that doesn't mean that anyone should look down on you and speak to you a certain way 
today I declare over your life that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens you and that no weapon that has formed against you will prosper. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about no tongue that has risen up against you. And even though they have spoken against you behind your back, nothing that they have said will prosper. Because the God of Abraham and Isaac is fighting on your behalf. I want to tell you something. That the gift that God has placed within you, it is greater than what you think. Therefore, don't let anyone speak down on your gift, speak down on your calling, speak down on your talent. You were placed at your workplace for a purpose. I speak over your life that that purpose will be birthed and will be manifested. A lot of you, you have forgotten your purpose at your workplace. You have forgotten your ministry and your calling at your workplace. All because they hype you up or all because you're getting a certain amount of money. But today I call you back to purpose. You will not lose your value, you will not lose your purpose when you start work. But may the plans of God and the purposes of God be manifested in your life at a supernatural level. May you never fail nor falter as a result of you being hyped up or as a result of you being applauded in pride. Today I declare and I decree over your life as I pray for you Psalm 59 and right now. He said, deliver me from my enemies, O God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me and behold. So therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressions. Selah. They run, they return at evening, they make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth, swords are in their lips. For who say they doth hear? But Lord shall laugh. But though Lord shall laugh at them, thou shall have all the heathen in division. I pray for you today, my friend, that every wicked force and every dynamic attacks they will be brought forth in division. That your ears of tears and the times which you have cried to the Lord in prayer, that God will answer your prayer and He will remember your request. I pray for you, my sister, that you'll wipe those tears and be girded in the faith of God. Be girded in the truth of God, which is the word of God. Be girded in his promises that you are the head and not the tail. And you are healed from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I pray for you that the Lord will deliver you from every workers, from every iniquity, and save you from bloody men. They are some workers of iniquity. They are some bloody men that have surrounded you. They are some workers of iniquity. They are some bloody men that have surrounded you in your workplace. But I'm telling you that they are some workers of iniquity gathered up against you, talking down against you, setting you up, trying to plot you, trying to set things against you but today i declare and i decree that no plan of the enemy will succeed over your life and that you are more than a conqueror through christ who strengthens you i declare right now over your life that the lord will awake and help you the lord will strengthen you he will awake and visit all your eden he will be merciful to you and he will visit your transgressions everyone that is fighting against you he will give you happy delight he will show you his path of righteousness and he will comfort you with his holy ghost i declare that no weapon that has formed against you will prosper even though you have been mourning and you feel as if you're going through some hard times at your workplace god is going to comfort you i speak the comfort of the holy spirit over your life right now every stress every agony every pain every deadline that is to be met that is causing you to be depressed i speak over your life that you are more than a conqueror through christ who strengthens you 
I declare over your life right now that God will strengthen you and God will carry you and he will lead you in his path of righteousness. God, let every dynamic force, let every attack that is in the workplace right now of this person who is listening, let them be burnt up and die in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that they shall fall into the pit of derision. They shall fall into the pit of confusion and no weapon and no tongue and anything that has spilled out against this listener. God, let it be burnt up now it by fire. Let it be burnt up now by fire. Let it be burnt up now by fire. Let it be burnt up now by fire. Fire against every wicked witch. Fire against every warlocks. Fire against every wicked evil tongue. Fire against every principalities and powers at your workplace that want to pull you down and let you feel as if you're nothing. Fire against every undermining spirit. Every snake spirit. Every anaconda-like spirit. Fire against them. Every one of them that is working in your supervisor, working in your manager. Fire against them. You shall not die before your time, but the purpose of God and the plans of God will be manifested in your life. I speak over you right now. There are many gathering up against you. There are many set up that have set up against you. There are many that wait until you step out of that office. There are, many, there are many that wait until you turn her back. Then they begin to chatter on your name. Then they begin to say things on your name. But they but today I declare fire I declare fire I wish that you would open your mouth and declare fire right now and say God let your fire fight on my behalf when I turn my back let your fire fight on my behalf when I am sleeping let your fire fight on my behalf when I'm praying let your fire fight 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 God on my behalf today I declare and I decree over your life that you will not die you will not die nothing that they have set at your workplace no poison that they have set at your workplace nothing that they have sprinkled at your workplace nothing that they have set at your desk and at your seat will prosper i declare that the power of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost will burn up will burn up will burn up will burn up every plan of the enemy every attack of the enemy every sword of the enemy every word of the enemy every depriving every slothful spirit that was assigned to to attack you and to pull you down and to demote you and to deal and to limit you and to can and to contain you oh god almighty i speak that you will burst forth the back up i speak that you will burst forth now no limitations anymore they have tried over the years to keep you down not wanting you to be promoted they have tried over the years to to limit you and to contain you you have the gift you have the calling you have the educational background you have the talent you have the work ability you have the know how and the customer service abilities but yet they see but yet they seems to hold you back but today i declare you loose right now i speak over your life that you will be catapulted to another level and no dynamic force that is working through your supervisor no dynamic force of pride and demotion and selfishness and perception and opinion of others will stop you from being successful i speak fire and ever force fire and ever force that want to see you down that want to see you demoted that want to see you less i speak fire on them i speak fire on them i declare you to be released now be released into your potential into your call into your promotion be released be released be released heaven be open i declare it i declare heaven to be open over your life over your workplace let heaven doors be open let heaven windows be open and pour out a blessing over your life you shall not die without the promises of god being manifested in your life you will not die you will not die a lot of you god is telling you to leave that place in your heart a lot of you god is telling you to stay because he's gonna promote you if god is telling you to stay if that bigger voice is telling you to stay then stay because the god who tells you to stay he will promote you but if god is telling you to leave don't bother fight this battle on your own because god knows why he is telling you if god wanted you to stay and fight he will let you stay and he will fight for you but there are some battles that god won't fight for you i said there are some battles that god won't fight for you 
because he has greater things for you to do somewhere else. See, the battle that you're fighting now, you think it's a huge battle. But God want to but God want you to fight a bigger battle in a different place. And you're thinking that that is something. No. God wants to transfer you. God wants to transfer you and put you somewhere better where you can do his work and walk in his premises and fight against the forces of darkness. The battle that you're fighting now, some of you, you need to know that God wants you to, to have a shift in your life, a shift in your life, a shift in your life. A shift in your life, a shift in your life. No need to wonder, no need to wonder if God is with you. No need to wonder if God is with you. It's the same God who you prayed to Sunday is with you today. It's the same God that you prayed to in the week uh, at fasting is with you today. Yes, he's the one who's telling you to move on. He's the one who is telling you to, 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 to stay and remain. A lot of you, you don't want to remain in the pain. But God is going to give you a promotion in the pain, through the pain. A lot of you don't want to remain in the pain, but God's going to give you a promotion in the time of pain. Hold on in the time of pain. Hold on in the time of pain. They may say they won't promote you, and it feels so painful, but God will do the promotion. The Bible said that promotions come from God. They may say that you don't worth it because you don't have the etiquette. You don't have the, the, the skill and the abilities and the qualification, the educational background that it takes but God's gonna promote you it's not what you want to say it's what God says is the final I'm here to tell you that God is with you God is with you God is with you God is with you everyone who have belched out with their mouth against you and speak against you with their lips may they be fold up and die every spiritual wickedness may they die right now die right now every wickedness that has influenced them every spiritual wickedness that has influenced them to speak against you may their tongue roll to their lips in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare and I decree over your life that you will learn to wait upon the Lord and you'll be of good courage because he is your strength I declare over your life right now that God will strengthen you and he will carry you in his love and in his mercy may the Lord consume every wicked force in his wrath may the Lord consume them away oh God Almighty roll them away roll them away come on somebody say God roll them away let every wicked force be rolled away let every wicked force in the morning be rolled away every wicked force that in the year in the afternoon be rolled away let every wicked force in the evening be, ro be rolled away i declare them that they be rolled away right now god almighty let no plan of the enemy let nothing that was set up the, by the enemy prosper nothing will prosper over my life today come on somebody declare it no weapon of the enemy will prosper over my life today i am protected no plan of the enemy will prosper over my life today I am protected. No tongue, nothing to bring me down or degrade, or to degrade me will prosper over my life today. I declare and I decree fire against the plan of the enemy. Fire against the attack of the enemy. Fire against the sword or the tongue of the enemy. I declare that their mouth will be stopped. I declare that their plans will be stopped. I declare that their weapon will be stopped because God is fighting. God is fighting on my behalf. I declare God that my mouth will sing a lord of your righteousness i will sing a lord of your mercy i declare and i decree that you are my refuge and my fortress and my defense in my days of trouble come on somebody give god a radical praise that you know that the god who you serve is with you and he is not dead he is alive god is your strength god is your strength god is your strength god is your refuge I pray today that you will not give in to the enemy and you will fight back. A lot of you, you don't want to fight back. You want to just cry. You want to just ask God why. No, fight back. Stand firm and fight back. Stand firm and look the enemy in his face and declare the word of God. Wasn't that what Christ did? Isn't that what Christ did? He fought back. He looked the devil in the face and said, Devil, man shall not live by bread alone. Devil, thou shall only worship the Lord thine God. Some of you, you don't want to fight back you don't want to come and cry and cry to God like 
Gideon. No, I want you to stand firm today and declare the word of God and said, God, fight against them that fight against me. Take all of sheep and buckler and stand up for my help. Plead my cause, O oh Lord, with them that strive with me. O oh God Almighty, draw out the spear, God. Stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Come on, somebody. Fight back and declare the Psalms of God. Let it fight for you. O oh God, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul, God. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them down. Let their way be dark and slippery, God. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Come on, somebody. Fight back and declare the word of God and shout it out aloud in the face of the enemy. God, for without cause they have it for me their net in a pit. They, God Almighty, have dig for my soul a pit. But God, let destruction come upon every demonic force and every attack and every spirit of pride. Let destruction come upon every shameful spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every net that they have hid, let it catch themselves. Let destruction fall upon them. God, let my soul be rejoiced in you and in your salvation. I declare and I decree, God, that as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Let every witnesses that has risen up against us, God, be fade away. Let them be fade away, God Almighty. Reward every evil workers of iniquity that wanted to see my soul be in shame and in agony. God, reward them. God, let my mouth sing forth of your praise all the day long. I declare and I decree over my life that God, God, you will stand up for my help and you stir up your anger against the wicked that fight against me. I declare right now that my soul shall rejoice in your glory and my life shall be a living example of your, of your glory. I declare and I decree God that your power it is being manifested in my life. Come on somebody I want you to open your mouth and declare it and say God you are my rock. You are my refuge. My tongue will speak of your righteousness and your praise all the day long. Oh God, I don't want you to be silent. Don't be silent when you're going through some things. Oh, but open your mouth and declare the psalm of God. And declare the word of God. And declare that I shall not die. But I shall live and declare the power and the works of God. There is great things. There are great things. There are great things ahead of you. Oh, a lot of you, God wants you to start your business and stop depending on the one source of income. I pray for you that God will give you ideas also and he will, and he will enlarge you and expand your borders and enlarge your territory. I declare that the Lord will bless you indeed and make his face to shine upon you and give you grace to continue to persevere in his promises. I speak over your life that the gifting and the calling and the talents and the skills of God will be manifested in your workplace and God will delight in you and your works will manifest and will glorify God. I speak that you will do equality. I speak that you will do truth. I speak that what you do, it will, it will, it will, it will give glory to God. I speak over your life that you will not die before the time when you will declare the works of God and the plans of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare over your life that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthened you. Stand firm in it. Remain rooted in it. There are great things to be done in it. Declare over your life that you will manifest the plans of God in Jesus' name.